What's up guys? This is P2E Professor. Today I'm going to walk you guys through Black Eye Galaxy, um, specifically the MK1 Asteroid Hunters. Um, there are also other P2E options. Um, the big one for big investors are going to be planets. Um, and then coming out at the end of January, they're going to be releasing the MK2 Asteroid Hunters. Uh, the ones I'm going to be showing you are discontinued for now, but you can get them in the uh, the aftermarket marketplace. Anyways, uh, BYG is the uh, the only coin for uh, Black Eye Galaxy. Uh, they are currently switching over to a full Oracle model for all their purchases. Um, so when you buy a MK2 Asteroid Hunter for $325, It'll be $325 of BYG at whatever BYG is worth in that hour. That's how their BYG Oracle rate uh, calculates. It's updated every hour <clears throat> and that's done so that someone can't just like t uh, tank the price in a moment, make a bunch of purchases and then rebuy the price up. It's to prevent uh, some market manipulation, which is nice. Anyways, uh, uh, games are starting to adapt to some of the market manipulation stuff we've seen, the exploits we've seen in um, specifically what are called DEXs, decentralized exchanges. Uh, at some point I'll go into AMM, Automated Market Maker or Matcher, which is how swaps work. But anyways, for now, BYG, which you can buy on PancakeSwap. Anyways, um, let's take a look at our assets here. So the way the Asteroid Hunters work is it's basically gamified staking. Um, they are flying to different staking pools. So let's take a look here. I know Sisyphus is ready to be mined. And what you'll see here is resource of Asteroid 144, claimable amount 144, so I'll claim it. Just going to take me to my MetaMask. And so what you're doing here is you're claiming your reward, your staking reward. And then what you have to do next is unstake your NFT, which we'll do after the reward is claimed, which it says right here. So next I will cancel the staking since there's no more rewards left in this specific pool. And you'll see, um, you know, with some of these earlier P2E games that they are more of gamified NFT staking than they are actual like video games. But uh, I know at least with BYG that they're developing a full 3D game as well, where you get to fly ships and uh, I know they've got like a pod racer type thing coming up. You'll be able to own land and all of that. Anyways, once you're done unstaking them, it's time to find the next place for your asteroid hunter to go, which is basically the whole part of the game. Um, you're just looking for asteroids with higher um, claim amounts uh, because they're defined by the rarities. So we got like a common, oh boy, bugged out. Uh, probably because I'm on full screen. Doesn't like that. Uh, so you have to go to these different asteroids and you're just looking for one with higher rarity and a lower flight time because they can range anywhere from one to four days and their rarity can range anywhere from common to legendary. I should have never seen a legendary asteroid, but um, those purportedly give you around 400 BYG in anywhere from three to five days. Um, and the common ones give you about I don't know, 120 to 140 in three to five days. So there's definitely a big difference in your ROI, depending on the asteroids you can get. However, this is kind of just a uh, forever thing also, as long as the price stays above like two cents for BYG, it's a profitable um, experience. And you're wondering how can this be sustainable? And they have burn metrics in place. Um, I'm not seeing anything good. You can look through all of them. Um, what I've learned is that as time goes on, only the 
higher count asteroids have any chance at all of being rare because the other people in the area have plucked the uh, you know any high rarity ones in like the 60,000s for instance those are already gone so i'm just checking ones that are at 74,000 since those are like the the ones that are most recently I don't even want to know what to call them. Generated. Yeah, they've just like recently appeared. Um, this is all part of the mechanics of the game. Um, to learn more about this kind of stuff, I suggest reading their white paper first. Um, a project's white paper always tells you at least their roadmap and, and the basic mechanics of the game. And then from there, I would, I would recommend asking questions in, in Discord or, or uh, Telegram. I prefer Discord. Um, Staking prefers Telegram. Anyways, uh, once you've found your asteroid, you click the send here button and you are staking it. Well, it's kind of like a pre-stake almost. Maybe I don't have enough BNB. Oh, whoops. Because I rejected it, it kind of said that someone's already going there. So I have to do a different transaction. Oh, oh, looks like I do not have enough uh, gas fees right now. I wasn't paying attention, which is fun because I will show you how to buy, or in my case, how to sell BYG. So we should launch for BYG contract address. BSC scan is the most trustworthy place. It's the official... Um, address on the Binance Smart Chain. So then what I'll do since I have that, I'll go to PancakeSwap. So sign in, connect my wallet. Um, as you'll see, you have to connect your wallet for a lot of places, but never, ever, 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 ever type in your secret recovery phrase anywhere but um, when you're importing your MetaMask account. Okay, so BYG, here we go. Here's the contract address from before. I'm gonna import the token. This is just a warning that any token can technically be a scam. So um, just kind of know what you're doing. Since I'm selling it, I don't really care if it's a scam or not. I just need some BNB to keep going. So I'll sell 500 of it. Let's see. About 32 bucks of BNB. So I'll do that. Hopefully, I have enough BNB to sell. And um, yeah, as you can see, having a, um, one of these games like this can be a great way of just having some extra money around whenever you need it. Um, it also costs you a little money, as you see, with the staking and unstaking. Cool, I should have the BNB now. There it is. So I can go back here. I can pick one of these asteroids that's one day away and I can send it there. All right, that is like half of it. Another half is once it gets there. You'll see zero, zero, zero. So you'll end your flight and you are unstaking it from its travel and you need to restake it now on the asteroid so that it can mine um, BYG rewards. And then the process, <laughs> and the process continues. Uh, as you see, uh, one of my asteroid hunters is lovingly named Sisyphus. If you don't know the story of Sisyphus, uh, look it up. It's an interesting, in Greek mythology. Um, anyways, and yeah, and the punishment is interesting. Um, so as you can see, I've got 16 spaceships in total, 15 are these MK1 asteroid hunters. They generate, um, let's see, when you stake them here, once the flight is over, once you stake them, it costs 20 BYG to start mining, and they generate um, anywhere from about like 115 to 200 on average. So subtract 20, 
got 90 to like 80 BYG over an average of four days. Um, so you're looking at a little over 20 as your minimum. And then you've got some of that flight time in there. So that's a day uh, to two days a week usually. So if they generate 22 a day, but they have to skip a day, you're still looking at about 150 BYG as a minimum per week-ish, um, which is at six and a half cents. Uh, let's see. Let's see how much that comes out to here. I uh, use USDT since that's the stable coin that's always worth a dollar. So 150 BYG, you're looking at about 950 per week, probably nine bucks after gas for each one of these. And they are currently 26, what was it on the marketplace? Let's see. It costs twenty two ten is the cheapest one. So that's a little over one hundred forty bucks, and that's how it works. Obviously, you have to keep in mind um, the the gas fees, uh, the twenty b uh, twenty byg you pay uh, every time you start mining. Um, so those are taken out. So I would probably lower it to maybe a dollar a day. Call it that um for each one and that's going to cost you 140 bucks so you're looking at 140 day roi on something like this and the way that you make your money back quicker is if the coin goes up in value after you purchase it um i was very fortunate let me show you guys the overall price for this particular project um, as we've seen, it's six and a half cents now, but in November it blew up and I invested at like three cents. I invested around here, the project blew up. So when the coin was worth 40 cents, that seven, uh, what was it? 20 BYG was worth eight bucks a day. Um, it was crazy money at that point. Um, I was making over a hundred bucks a day with these uh, asteroid hunters. So what we need, if you're going to invest in this project is for it to at some point pick up value again. Um, they've, they're releasing plenty of like actual video game stuff this year, but it's hard to tell with any of these projects when that's actually going to happen. As far as what happened here, uh, to our best understanding, uh, it was like coupled with on December 3rd, there was a crazy market crash. And then a couple of whales just like dumped their holdings and the coin's been kind of in a slow decline ever since. Um, a lot of these P2E projects, they have one or two peaks. I was fortunate that I got in before the peak. So I've already made my ROI and it's just kind of profit now. Um, but with these kinds of projects, yeah, you're kind of looking for one that hasn't peaked yet usually, or, with a project like this, with something that's kind of just trending sideways so that you can calculate your ROI and, and get it. And then once you've got it, then you, uh, then you're making your profit. Like I said, BYG is coming out with a bunch of stuff too. So there is, there is hope for the future. Um, as far as how is this all sustainable, there are burn mechanics involved with the different asteroid hunters. For instance, they have this damage percent here. So once they reach 100%, um, they have to go to a repair station uh, where they charge BYG per percent and uh, to repair it. And it's like one BYG per hour per percent. So if you're at 100%, it'll take you 100 hours and 100 BYG to get back to 0%. And this is done at, I don't have an idle one, but this is done at salvage stations on planets um, which are owned by, by other players. And those salvage stations are add-ons to their planets so that they can make money because they're making that BYG, um, or at least a percent of it. I'm not sure, maybe a little gets burned. I don't know. I'm not fancy enough to be a planet owner. But anyways, 
Um, if you're looking for a P2E project, Black Eye Galaxy could be a good place to just get started with, um, I guess, just the mechanics of staking, learning how that works and understanding yeah, the claims and the unstaking and all that. But this is a gamified version. Uh, typical staking is much more set it and forget it. Anyways, there's one other part of Black Eye Galaxy we've got the uh, that I've got, which is the salvage team. Um, they collect on an Oracle basis. I can't see. Oh, shoot. My head's in the way. Okay, here we go. Um, so the total lifetime ship capacity is 240 tons, which equals $242. I have so far gotten 19.4, um, just from like a similar mining mechanic as the asteroid hunters, but it's just separated. Uh, they mine salvage. Um, and they each cost $50 a piece. So over the lifetime, they'll make you 240 bucks. How long that is, I'm not sure. This guy's been going at it for like a month. Um, but they have various upgrades that speed up your ROI, each that cost about 50 to $55. And yeah, that'll increase your ROI because it, it opens up um, their lifetime ship capacity to like a thousand, I think, at the higher levels, and their mining speed is, um, I don't even know how much, like 10x or, or more. Um, there are plenty of Black Eye Galaxy videos I'll have in this section uh, that can explain how the salvage team and the MK Asteroid Hunter, MK1 Asteroid Hunter work in their words. But for now, um, it was a good investment. It's still a decent investment. Um, as far as P2E games go, it's pretty set it and forget it. It takes about 20, 30 minutes a day, and it's making me, I don't know, let's say 15 bucks a day around there. Um, yeah, so I can't complain. And that's it for now. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to uh, talk more about how this all works. I'm getting really excited for the MK2 Asteroid Hunters. Um, that are coming out at the end of January. Like I said, those will be 325 bucks, but they're working on an Oracle system, so their output is guaranteed. I believe it's like, the lowest one is like $1,400, but it's over like 15 months or something like that. And then, um, yeah, oh, I forgot to mention that. Um, when you mint them, you have a random chance of rarity. So yeah, I think it's uncommon, common, rare, Epic, legendary, something like that. And each one has a different overall mining capacity and um, mining speed. And so depending on the rarity, you can get your money back quicker or and a lot more of it. So yeah, I'm really excited about the MK2s. Um, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe or whatever. Uh, ask me some questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Check out my website, uh, putting out content, me and my brother staking. And yeah. Let me know what you'd like to know.